Good morning and welcome to Hobnob. We're glad to be here with you today. It's an annual event. It's great to see so many friends from across not just the state of Mississippi, but the region and the nation that have flown in to be with us today, not just to talk about business and politics, but talk about the future of our society. It's a privilege serving as your state auditor day in and day out. I got a great staff that we get to work with and it's a great reputation. As you've heard time and time again, Mississippi is ranked in the top 10 states at enforcing our own public corruption laws. We take right versus wrong seriously in Mississippi, and I get to be that spokesman, that port person with our staff protecting our state's reputation, our state's integrity. Just in the last six months alone, we've issued over three quarters of a million dollars, 750 plus thousand dollars of demands for individuals who've misspent, misappropriated, or embezzled our tax dollars. Just this week alone, we've already arrested one individual in North Mississippi and New Albany for embezzling almost $300,000 from the city of New Albany in the municipal courts. And just yesterday, in Tallahatchie County, we had a deputy tax assessor who pled guilty to embezzling taxpayer dollars and betraying the trust of the people she worked for. We get to do that every day on your behalf and on behalf of the staff of the Office of State Auditor. Thank you for that privilege for allowing us to protect Mississippi's reputation. We've done a great job as a state rooting out public corruption, embezzlement, theft, misuse. But one of the biggest areas we've got to work on and focus on for the rest of this term and going forward is the misappropriation and the mismanagement of state and federal tax dollars. Right now in Mississippi, over a half a dozen state agencies are facing a potential of a hundred and four million dollar clawback. A hundred and four million dollars in taxpayer money, grants given from the federal government, that we're looking at federal agencies looking to claw back to the federal government. That would be a loss to us, the taxpayers of Mississippi. It's not embezzled, it's not stolen, it's just they didn't follow the rules of spending the federal dollars. We have investigators from various Office of Inspector Generals in Mississippi today. Auditors from various Inspector General's offices today looking and checking and double checking how our state agencies have managed our federal dollars. The legislature last year increased the general funding for the auditor's office and we've already hired 15 new auditors that are already in the field protecting Mississippi, working to address not just the fraud, but the mismanagement, the incompetence that has taken place that has put us at risk of losing $104 million. We're asking the legislature to continue that commitment to fighting waste, to continue that commitment in January, and we're going to need your help to make sure that we do that. $104 million could go a long way in public education in Mississippi. $104 million will go a long way in public safety. It will go a long way to our roads and bridges. We have to take the mismanagement and misappropriation of our tax dollars seriously in Mississippi, and the legislature, as I said, has started that process. 15 new auditors, and right now we opened up new positions and are looking to hire them more going into the next year. Our commitment to you, the taxpayers of Mississippi, is not just to root out corruption, the embezzlers, the thieves, but also to work on the incompetence and the mismanagement and the misappropriation that is costing our state dearly. With your help and with the legislature's continued support, we will make a difference for future generations when it comes to the appropriation and the management of Mississippi taxpayer dollars. Thank you all for the privilege of allowing me to serve as your state auditor, to work with a great staff at audit, to work on your behalf to protect Mississippi. Thank you all for being at Hobnob and allowing us to be with you today. And look forward to visiting with you and having a cup of coffee with you this morning.